Hello fish people. I figured I'd show off all my tanks tonight. Um, it's dark so I'm gonna just skip between walking through my house because my tanks are in different locations. This is my beta tank and you can't see them. Let me move my light so you can see them better. This is my beta boy and he is in a 10 gallon tank. That is the only filtration. It's actually a 20 gallon sponge filter and it's a planted tank as you can see and I don't know if you can see them but up there is my algae eater it's a otosynclus and he's the only other fish in this tank because I'm acclimating them slowly to lessen the stress on my beta that last tank was in between my uh, living room and dining room kitchen area this is now in my kitchen or not kitchen, my dining room. This is my breeder tank of, if you can tell, Louis Bonnie Rainbow Fish. And it's got a sponge filter, and that's the only filtration in this tank. It's a 29 gallon tank. I can pull back. And it's got some java moss in there, as well as mops. Because um, as I was putting in the, the mops, I noticed that my fish got less stress. So I just put in a couple of them to add cover uh, on the bottom. And this is not a, a, a dirty or anything tank. It's a bare bottom that you can't really tell. And he's not showing his color right now, but, but he's got a really nice coloration. I actually have about 20 eggs right now and I will show them to you in a few minutes. This is actually across from my 29 gallon. This is my 50 gallon brackish tank. As you can tell, it doesn't have any hard rock in it yet. Um, I have a friend that's bringing me some, but she won't be here till September. So this tank is still gonna just sit with some old, old uh, decor decoration that I've had for years. It's been working though. Uh, zoom in here. And I have four of these. These are bumblebee gobies. And you've probably seen them moving around the tank. That is my violet goby. And I've got three of these. This is a flounder. And they're really hard to see. There's one back there by the filter. This has two 60 gallon sponge filters on it. But it also has an an Eheim uh, 2213 so it's over filtered and it's sitting right now at specific gravity um, of 0 0.005 and I'm not gonna probably raise it any higher because I raised it to 0 0.007 and my little bumblebees were bloating up so that's where it's gonna stay and my daughter here, she knows the names of all the fish, by the way. She's going to keep going with us on this tour. This is my egg tank. And I don't think I have any babies yet. I check on it daily, about four times a day. In this, has about 20 eggs in it. I really can't zoom in to show. But it's got about 20 eggs. And there's actually some individual eggs on some java moss as well that I've put in here. It's got a heater in the center to try to keep it regulated and an air stone just to have agitation on the surface just slightly. I turned on the lights and I figured I'd show you this before I clean it. If you can see all this, that's actually from my Odo Sinkless. It's sand from the bottom of the tank. So I'm going to turn this off and clean it. And Okay, now that's better. This is my 90 gallon planted tank. It's in my living room as well as where my... Uh, egg tank is and it's got a lot of plants in here if you can tell these plants are only about a month old in this tank other than you can tell my crypt back there I've had for about three months and over here my java moss ball and my wisteria I've had for about two months this has the rest of my um, Bozmani rainbows in it. That's a very pretty female I have there. And here are some of my other males. But it's it's a big community tank. And it's got 
Corey's. Mommy. What's that? A, a dojo loach. A dojo loach. It's actually got two species of Corey's in here. I've got five total. J. Corey and a soft peppered Wait, Corey. Okay. It's got dojo loaches. It's got Kaluli loaches. It's got obviously mm -hmm. rainbow fish. And actually an angelfish, which is hiding back there. And it's also got about eight otosynclus in it. And there's one back there. And you can see it's also got sponge filters. And hang on the back filters. That one's actually broken. That one's still working, but I am building a canister filter for this tank. Um, it should be ready sometime next week and then I will eventually get rid of both of my hang on the back filters. This is my dwarf hair grass if you can tell it's propagating because it's been in the tank for about three months actually. And my dwarf sag over here is propagating very nicely towards my swords and everything else. Well that is my tanks. Oh, and this tank also does not have much hardscape. It's got that, which is a um, driftwood piece. Two pots. That geode. And that rock. And that is it. This tank will eventually have hardscape as well.